Islam, reviving the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Alhamdulillah, salatu wassalamu ala Rasulillahi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. My brothers and sisters in Islam, Ibn Abbas radiallahu anhu narrates that the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam gave him advice and he said to him, Ya Ghulam, inni u'allimuka kalimat. He said to him, Oh boy, I want to teach you a few words. Words that will be of benefit to you and to the rest of the ummah. This is why this hadith was memorized and collected and narrated and passed down. He said to him, and I'll share with you the first part, Ihfadillaha yahfad. He said to him, safeguard Allah and Allah would safeguard you. What does this mean? Safeguarding Allah, it means to adhere and to commit to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's commands and to keep away from that which Allah azza wa jal prohibited. This is how one safeguards Allah azza wa jal. This is the deed that you should be doing day and night, every single day of your life when you wake up in the morning and before you go to sleep. Think of this matter and implement it in your life. Adhere to all the commands of Allah azza wa jal and above the list is as salat and all the deeds that we know about and avoid the prohibitions, keep away from them all. Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Ihfadillah, if you did this matter, what is the result? What is the reward that Allah gives you? Yahfad, Allah azza wa jal would safeguard you. He'll protect you. This is the reward. And this is, yani, subhanallah, al-ulama rahimahumullah, they say, the more a person commits to the worship of Allah, the more Allah's protection for him. And the less adherence and commitment to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's commands and laws, then the less protection you get in your life. Well, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah azza wa jal, He mentioned a story in the Quran about Yunus alayhi salam when he was in the belly of the whale. Allah azza wa jal, He said, فَلَوْلَا أَنَّهُ كَانَ مِنَ الْمُسَبِّحِينَ Had Yunus alayhi salam not been from among those who worshipped Allah and from among those who declared Allah's perfection, مِنَ الْمُسَبِّحِينَ What would have happened? He would have remained in the belly of the whale until the day of judgment. لَلَبِثَ فِي بَطْنِهِ إِلَى يَوْمِ يُبْعَثُونَ So what happened? Because he had adhered to Allah's commands and he was from those worshippers, Allah saved him from the belly of the whale. And this is it. When you, when you safeguard Allah's commands and adhere to his law and religion, it doesn't mean that you will not be given any calamity in your life. Perhaps you might face calamities like Yunus alayhi salam and the calamity and him being in the whale's belly. But what would happen here? Allah would safeguard your iman, your deen. Because if people lose their iman, the most likely time they lose their iman is in a calamity. However, Allah would safeguard a person's iman and his faith and his adherence to la ilaha illallah. We ask Allah azza wa jal to safeguard us all. Innahu liyu dhalika wa qadir alayhi. وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين ات لايك بوتين يي باكنا كتي سبسكرايب بوتين لينا كي واتي اول لاتي راون فيديوز واتو تون مي لينا كي شي فيديو يي كلوم باكو واسان يي سون لوري تزاكم الله خيرا